What's optic radiation? These are the fibers that emerge from the lateral geniculate body, also known as geniculocalcarine tract. And they have two sets of fibers, superior group and an inferior group. They have a different route. So a lesion in superior produces a different lesion and an inferior produces a different lesion and it may involve the whole thickness then it produces homonymous hemianopia. The fibers from the upper quadrant of the retina bring the visual fibers from lower quadrant of retina and end in the medial half of the lateral geniculate body and they terminate on the superior lip of the calcarine fissure. So the upper retinal quadrant fibers bring the lower visual field fibers. They go to the medial part of the lateral geniculate body and end up in the superior lip of the calcarine fissure in the visual cortex. Whereas the fibers from the lower quadrant of the retina end in the lateral half of the lateral geniculate body and terminate in the inferior lip of the calcarine fissure in the visual cortex. So the lower retinal quadrant fiber, they bring the upper visual field fiber and end up in the inferior lip of the calcarine fissure. The upper retinal fiber, they loop around the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle and then they pass into the visual cortex. With the lower ones, they pass through the parietal lobe and through the internal capsule to go to the visual cortex. The mere loop brings the inferior retinal fiber. They loop around the lateral ventricle and the barom's loop that pass through the internal capsule which brings the superior retinal fiber. What's pi in the sky and the pi in the floor? These are the lesions in the optic radiations. The mere loop which has the upper retinal quadrant fibers. A lesion in that produce quadrantic hemianopsia. This is known as the pie in the sky. Whereas a lesion in the bramus loop which brings the lower quadrant retinal fibers produces a lower quadrant retinal blindness. This is known as pie in the floor.